love the internet. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, my name is Anna and I hope that you stick around. So not too long ago, H&M Beauty launched their new perfume line with Alicia Beau or Beau, which is her actual name, as the face of the campaign. The idea behind these scents is to find one signature scent for you that matches your personality and vibe. There are eight of them in the collection. And of course, I couldn't help myself but to get a sample of all of them. Today's video is all about H&M Beauty's newest perfume collection. And if you wanna know what I think of them, then please keep on watching. So Fearless Optimist is supposed to be a fruity scent as it has top notes of pistachio sea salt, pina colada, candy apple, and then middle notes of heliotrope, white flowers, and base notes are salted caramel, sandalwood, musk, and proline. <laughs> oh my god, this is Chirosa 62. Wow. As it dries down, it's more of a softer version of 62 and it gets more of a sweeter profile. This is an eau de toilette, so I do fear that it might be a little fleeting as opposed to what I feel Cherosa 62 can be. H&M Beauty describes this as for the playful person who revels in a delicious coconut breeze, sweet dreams, and a sunny mind. It definitely is a summer breezy scent. I get this vision of a cabin on the beach with huge windows facing the ocean and there are these thin curtains that are waving in the wind as the breeze goes through the cabin. I have to give this a wear test. I absolutely love Chirosa 62, so this is a so this is a very strong contender for me. The Modern Minimalist is a fresh scent and it has top notes of cotton flower, eucalyptus, citrus, and then middle notes of jasmine, rose, lily, and lily of the valley, and base notes of white musk, sandalwood, amber, and cashmere wood. Okay, so let's give it a sniff. Ooh, yeah. This smells like its name. And at first sniff, it reminds me of the clean line, as it is a clean, fresh, and breezy scent. It's elegant, yet discreet, and just gives that little something. Wow. It also smells very clean without smelling too much like detergent. This one is described as for the effortless person who takes pleasure in a soft breeze, a crisp cotton shirt, and a clear blue sky. It does really embody that statement and I can't help myself but get that. You got that jeans, 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 look in your eyes. When I smell it. Mm. Then we have the floral chic socialite that has top notes of bergamot, middle notes of orange blossom, jasmine, and honeysuckle, and then base notes of marshmallow, vanilla, cotton candy, and musk. So let's see. Ooh, that's interesting. You know what this reminds me of? When I was a kid, I had this doll that looked like a cupcake. And if you're a 90s kid, did you also have this? And if I remember correctly, there were different dolls with different scents. But this one smelled like the one I had at first sniff. Huh. The three I've already smelled have been very soft, and that goes for this too. As it dries down, the maturity of the musk and the vanilla comes more through and gives it more of that sophisticated profile. But I would still say that it's sweet, soft, and delicate, basically. And this is described as for the sweet, playful, and flirty person who loves orange blossom and Paris nights. Yeah, it gives me Gossip Girl. It does. I can't remember the school, but when I smell it, that's what I envision. Hmm. Then we have the Floral Personal Muse, which has top notes of almond and peach, and middle notes of tuberose, jasmine, and orris, and base notes of sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, and cacao. And this is described as for the confident person with electric energy who isn't afraid of contrasts. From the looks of the notes, I think this might be one of my favorites, so let's see. Okay. That comes off a bit different than I expected, but I'm not mad at it. It comes off fresh, sweet, and it has this flirtiness to it. I don't know if I'm a little affected by the color right now, because it has this very vibrant juice. But I do have to try these on skin to get that extra dimension that skin provides. It opened very feminine, but as it dries down, the, the sandalwood 
the vanilla and tonka bean comes more through. I don't want to call it more masculine, but I want to say a bit darker, a little mysterious, and does not match this pink juice whatsoever. Next up, we have Adventure Seeker that is supposed to be a woody scent. It has top notes of black pepper and bergamot, middle notes of orris, tobacco, and jasmine, and then base notes of leather, sandalwood, amber, cedarwood, musk, milky accord, and praline. It's described for the irresistible person who loves creamy wood. That's what she said. <laughs> Rich leather and doesn't believe in limitations. Okay here this here we go this is the one that i've been waiting for at first sniff it reminds me of sarco perfume either it's youth or the muse i can't really remember which one right now it's fresh but at the same time you can tell that the leather and the woody notes are just dancing in the background oh my god i want this in my nose it's so good Okay, I have to try this one too. Yes. Okay, moving on. Then we have Creative Visionary, which is a fruity scent. And that one has top notes of coconut water and guava, middle notes of white flowers, tiari, and violet, and then base notes of musk, patchouli, and vanilla. Coconut water. It's just for that one. So let's see. Okay, hello coconut. It is fresh. I know I've said that about all of them till now, but it, but it also has that depth of the coconut and vanilla in combination. They've definitely done something with the names of these scents because I understand them. And this is described as for the free untamed person who loves a tropical beach and daydreaming under sunsets. Yes. From now on, I'm going to call daydreaming for creative visions. It sounds better. It's only two more scents to go and next up is Social Butterfly, which is a floral scent. And that one has top notes of honeysuckle, apple blossom, lemon, and mandarin. Then middle notes of vanilla and ylang lang and base notes of caramel, musk, and cashmere wood. And this one is for the extravagant person who creates good vibes, is warm, alive, and does everything intensely. Sounds like my scent. So let's see. I do not get the citrus in this one. I just feel like it dives straight into the middle notes of vanilla and then the base notes of caramel and musk. But it is a warm and inviting scent. And it gives a little bit of Guerlain's insolence, little sister. A little fun fact about me and insolence is that I am actually allergic to that perfume. So my eyes start to itch and also gives me a stuffy nose. Considering it reminds me of that, I'm just waiting for my eyes to start to itch. As it settles, the flower and the fruitiness does come through a bit more. This was a fun one. Insolence can be a little bit too intense. So, so this is a softer version of insolence. It doesn't stuff up my nose or make my eyes itch. Then last but not least, we have the fruity Hopeless Romantic that has top notes of pear and bergamot, middle notes of tuberose, orange blossom, and fruity jasmine, and base notes of patchouli, vanilla, and amber. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm gonna go off a bit of a tangent, but I'm gonna stay right back on track, I promise. So I come from a very creative family. Everyone dabbles in music in some shape or form. My dad's a painter and my mom is a silversmith. So Hi, this is editing on that. I don't know what happened to my camera and why it went out of focus, but it will be out of focus for like 22 seconds. So if you wanna do something else while listening to the rest of the story, be my guest, but it will go back into focus on me, I promise. I feel like this goes without saying that arts and crafts have been a big part of my life. And I remember my mom and I were in our soap making era. We would blend the scents in the soaps and pour them into molds and give them away as presents. And this one reminds me of the soap that I blended for my teacher in elementary school. And it is described as for the big hearted person who is mesmerized by the elegance of falling in love. For that memory alone, I think this is one of my favorites. I'd also say that it's a softer version of Not Safe For Work by Born To Stand Out. I'd call it more floral than fruity, but it's soft and elegant. 
So that was it for the Nude Perfume Collection by H&M Beauty. I do feel that there's a variety of the 8 cents, but I also hope that they extend the line eventually. And I think for someone who is new to perfumes, I think this is a great place to start. Before I started to film, I thought maybe I'd rank them, but I don't think I can. What I can say though, out of the bunch, because of the association that I have with insolence, Social Butterfly is one of the ones that I will not get a full-size bottle of, but that is my personal opinion. That's my opinion! It sort of reminds me of the suffocating feeling that I get from insolence and just waiting for your nose to stuff up and wait for your eyes to itch is not something that you want out of a perfume. So unfortunately, Social Butterfly is at the bottom for me. The ones that I do will get a full bottle of though is Fearless Optimist and Adventure Seeker. I can't say that word without thinking of that Queen song. <laughs> I definitely felt like those two were safe bets for me, but the other ones I have to try on my skin and of course the longevity of them. So I have Adventure Seeker here and then I have Fearless Optimist here and they've been sitting for a little while now and they smell so good. I get more of a honey note from the Fearless Optimist now. It still smells insanely good. Just didn't have honey in it. Candy apple and salted caramel. So that was it for this video and I really hope that you liked it and if you did then please give me a thumbs up and if you like me then please subscribe and until next time, bye! I have to get this song out of my head. You're done.